Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming my 8 to 11 week pregnancy update. It has been about a month since I filmed my 5 to 7 week update and I have a lot to fill you guys in on. Um, so basically I left off with my 7 week update and my first appointment was that following week and I ended up being earlier than I expected and I think I had mentioned that in my video that I didn't think that I was really as far along as I was with my cycle and everything um, due to me tracking my ovulation and everything and how I got pregnant. Um, I did realize that I ovulated later on in the month and that's why I just had a gut feeling that I was not um, seven weeks pregnant at the time that I filmed the video. So on June 20th, I think, let me check. Yeah, June 20th was our first doctor appointment and we went there and everything was fine. And then when we went for the ultrasound, they did say that the baby was measuring smaller than usual, which was a huge red flag to me, but thankfully I was tracking everything with my ovulation and my period cycles on my phone, on my app, and so it they put two and two together and they were like, okay, that makes sense why you are earlier. So I went there eight weeks, two days pregnant, and they actually said on my scan that I was six weeks and six days. So it was really, really like, it caught me off guard. I was super discouraged when she told me that because I just felt like I was eight weeks and two days and I was always, you know, whatever. But I actually was six weeks and six days. So that really upset me, but it's fine. And then it also scared me when she had mentioned that the baby was measuring smaller, even though she did confirm that everything, like with the dates and everything made sense. But because I don't get another ultrasound until September 20th, when we find out what the gender of the baby is, I just feel super uneasy about it. And I had, haven't heard the heartbeat yet at that time. We just got to see it. We didn't actually get to hear it. Um, and a few other things that I wanted to tell you, fill you guys in about our eight week appointment was that my practice, I started going to like six years ago and I never really liked it. And then when I got pregnant, I just decided I've been here. I know the people, I might as well just stick through it. But the ultrasound was a complete mess. I was so upset with my ultrasound tech, she was older, she was pretty rude, um, didn't let us hear the heartbeat. We saw it, but we didn't hear it. And she gave us one picture, and it was like an okay picture, but they give you this USB flash drive, and it's in a little, it looks like a little bear. And I'll actually go get it right now and show you guys what it looks like. So she gave us this little bear flash drive. And it was super cute in the beginning, you know, she was kind of nice, but um, just she like got mad at me because she told me to come, they told me to come with a full bladder and so I did. I peed before I left because I've been peeing like every 10 minutes. And I hadn't even drank a bottle of water, like I peed before I went to the doctor. It took me like 15 minutes to get there. And when I, by the time I had gotten there, I really, really had to go to the bathroom. And I thought I was getting an actual like internal exam, but it was just over my belly. So when she went to go do the ultrasound, my bladder was so full. And she was like, oh my God, your bladder is so full. You don't ever need to have your bladder that full. I'm not going to be able to see the baby. You need to go pee. So I went to the bathroom and I let some out, but I wanted to like not have, I, I still wanted to have a full bladder so I was afraid, came back, I still had to go to the bathroom but, so she couldn't really get good pictures but on, on this little um, little bear, basically was supposed to have like a couple different photos and there's like a video recording and each appointment you bring this bear and they'll add more onto it with each appointment. Well, I, after the appointment, 
after feeling super uncomfortable with her, I just knew that I had to switch practices. I wanted to go back to my old practice um, where my mom goes. So I called them. They accepted me as a new patient and I left my first appointment, which I'm so relieved about. And my new people are super, super nice. But the thing is, is that I only get two ultrasounds, I think, my this whole pregnancy. I'm pretty sure um, just my eight week scan that I had with this terrible, miserable woman, and then my 20 week for the gender, and then I'm not sure if they do anything else later on, but yeah, so quick story with this. So after my appointment with them, I went home and I didn't really think anything of it, and I just was so discouraged that I never heard the heartbeat, and I'm like, is this thing even alive? Like. I saw a little like blah, but I never really got to hear the heartbeat. I know there was one there and it was measuring small. Is everything okay? Like is something wrong? And so a week later I decided to plug this thing into my computer. I just couldn't stop thinking about it. So I decided to check out the pictures that were on the USB drive. Oh, I'm out of breath. And there was two pictures that looked exactly the same. And there was a video. There was a video and it was three seconds long. I was thinking in my head, oh maybe, maybe because we saw the heartbeat, maybe she took that video of us seeing the heartbeat and maybe if I put it into my computer, we can hear it. So I had a video on there and I was super excited and I played it and it was like a three second of her going like, like it was just like the quickest video and I was just so disappointed. I was like, what is the point of this USB drive? You're supposed to maybe take a couple photos, different angles of the baby, and then a video of the heartbeat or hearing the heartbeat. And that's not what I got. I just got a bunch of crap on this thing. And I was just like, I'm so glad I left the practice because I did not want to worry my whole entire pregnancy dealing with an ultrasound tech like that. And Anyways, so rant over about that. So, um, and I also wanted to talk about my symptoms. I haven't really had any symptoms actually. I've had a pretty easy going pregnancy and I'm really, really happy about it and I'm really, really lucky and grateful. The only thing that I can say that's been really tough during my pregnancy is um, nighttime. When it gets to night being like after work, I want to say like five o'clock and on, I get super not not sick, but I'm very sensitive to smells and things like that. So I wake up in the morning and I'm super, super hungry. And then I eat my breakfast and then I'll have something for lunch. But then once it comes to dinner time, I'm not hungry at all. I don't want anything to eat. And I can't, my husband can't cook in the house. I can literally cannot smell anything. I can't smell beef, anything strong. Like I will gag. So my doctor prescribed me the B6 and the Unison that I think I explained in my first update video. And I, every time when I come home, I take those just to help with the nausea. And I sip on a Coke or a ginger ale and I'll eat something bland, but my husband can't cook in the house and I can't smell anything. That's how it's been my whole pregnancy. Um, um, today is, I forgot to tell you guys, today is July 23rd, it's Tuesday and I am 11 weeks and four days now. So it's been a pretty long time since I've updated you guys, but nothing has really changed, but I did write some things down. I have so many apps and I think I get confused with like on certain days like I'll write notes but then like it'll get then I'll get confused and I'll forget to check um, what I wrote down so so there we go so June 20th I wrote first doctor's appointment Saw the baby for the first time, saw a heartbeat, didn't hear it, and I uploaded a photo of the sonogram. So this is a 
this is the picture that I got. Great, you know, so, so nice. And then that was six weeks. In six days, I was supposed that was supposed to be my eight-week appointment. And then on July 9th, okay, so TMI, but I want to say I was nine weeks and four days. I had experienced some spotting, and it wasn't like blood. It was just like kind of brown TMI, but I noticed when I went to the bathroom and I wiped, there was like, it was brown, a little discoloration, which freaked me the heck out. I was like, holy crap, I'm spotting week nine. Oh my God, I called my doctor. They said it was completely normal and to just keep an eye on it. And if it got worse, to give them a call. So that lasted just on the 9th and the 10th during week nine, and then it went away. And then on week 10, we, on Sunday the 14th, we heard the baby's heartbeat and my sister-in-law gave me this little Doppler to listen to the baby's heartbeat. That's the brand. So we heard the baby's heartbeat for the first time and it was really cool. And yeah, so this is the Doppler. I just use lotion for it. And yeah, so that was week 10. Like I said, all my symptoms really had been the same. I was actually feeling really good. They said that morning sickness peaks at week 9, which I actually only had my morning sickness in week 7, and it was like three days of it, of like during the day. I felt like icky all freaking day. I felt like dying. But then all of a sudden it just like went away and then it was just like a nighttime thing, which I still kind of struggle with it, but um, it just really depends um, on the smells and like how I'm feeling. And then on Tuesday the 16th, a few days later, I had my first fainting spell during week 10. And it was early in the morning, I just woken up, I was feeding my dog breakfast and I'm sitting in the kitchen. And all of a sudden, I just felt like this warm rush go up my body. And I was like, oh God, something's gonna happen. And my heart started racing and I like went, my staircase was like right there. I went right to my staircase. I sat down and put my head between my legs, started breathing. My ears started to ring, my eyesight got blurry. I closed my eyes and I like called my husband to give me a water. And yeah, it was just super bizarre and then I got really jittery. I was sweating. I was super super hot So that was really interesting it let and I kind of like actually got really nauseous while all that was going on But that only lasted I want to say like not even 10 minutes and then it went away and I was fine super paranoid the rest of the day, but I've been having I bought a bunch of pop tarts. That's like pop tarts were like one of my cravings and the Duncan frozen caramel coffees have been like my two like cravings that I've actually had so far and um, those have just been like my two main things every morning I wake up I toast pop tart and it's like amazing and then I get like super jittery sometimes throughout the day like where I feel like I have low blood sugar and I think that you know that could be the cause of it I'm not sure um, and yeah, so that's week 10. And then into week 11, I don't think, which I'm week 11 now. I didn't track anything, but so this past weekend, um, Saturday and Sunday, the 20th and the 21st during week 11, we had one of the hottest days of the summer here where I live. And it was so hot that like it was affecting me even though I was in the house I could just my my chest felt heavy I just was super hot I couldn't get cool nothing was satisfying me I didn't even want water I felt dehydrated I just felt so ill and I didn't do anything this whole entire weekend I just laid in bed 
On Saturday, like, it was not as bad, but Sunday was terrible, terrible, terrible. I just felt like shortness of breath. I just heavy chested. I felt super tired, not motivated. I woke up and I made breakfast and then went right back to bed. My husband and I spent all day in bed and just relaxed and watched movies. And it was super, super nice. And, but I just didn't feel good. And I thought that I was like getting out of it because I've been feeling so great for the most part of my pregnancy. But lately, the past couple days, I've been like, haven't been feeling my best. Um, and then Monday, it took a turn for the worst, like the worst that I think it's actually ever been my whole pregnancy. I had a headache all day and I took a couple Tylenol and it wouldn't go away, drank a lot of water, and then I started to get like nauseous because of how bad my head hurt. I think it was maybe like a mini like migraine. And then I came home from work, it was six o'clock, I went right up to bed, slept from six until seven this morning. So I wanna say like 13 hours of sleep I had, and I didn't have dinner, nothing. So yeah, today I feel much better um, than I have this past weekend. And that was, what, 11 weeks? Yeah. So now today is Tuesday, July 23rd, and I had a doctor's appointment. Heard the heartbeat. I just had an internal exam. Talked to the doctor. Everything was fine. Baby's heartbeat is 167, which is good. And I only gained a pound, which I feel like I've gained a lot more weight than just a pound with all the junk that I've been eating. So that was nice to see. And yeah, I haven't really had that many crazy symptoms. My main symptoms from eight to 11 weeks are the, like the nausea at night, not feeling really good at night, the like smells of cooking in the house. And then the main ones that I've been having is just like my tender, breasts and frequent urination but other than that I feel like this pregnancy has been going pretty well for me and I'm really really happy I was super nervous about morning sickness and getting sick and all that but just super exhausted um, and that's normal so yeah and I'm also trying to think of what else I want to fill you guys oh yeah so I can also probably show you guys some things that I got for the baby. I didn't personally buy anything. They were just gifts that were gifted to us from family friends when they found out that we were pregnant. So I wanna show you guys those real quick. Like in this cute little box that I got for my bridal shower. Um, so this was, these are like the little, actually I, I did technically buy these, but this little, these little booties were from Target. They were only $3 and I wanted them for our um, pregnancy announcement. So yeah, these were super cute, gender neutral. And if you guys haven't seen our pregnancy announcement, it's just something simple. It's on my Instagram and I'll link my Instagram page down below. I really want people to start following me because I want to know who watches my videos and if you guys like my videos and if there's other pregnant moms out there with me that are going through the same thing, it'd be really cool to see and to meet and talk to you guys. Um, and then I also bought these. It was like a package of onesies and I just wanted it for the um, pregnancy announcement. So I used a onesie and these like little booties. I didn't personally go out and get them. My friend was at the store and I asked her to like look for them and they actually ended up having them. So, which was really, really cool. And then my coworker's mom was so excited when she found out I was pregnant. Got the baby this, my, it says my first bear. And it's like a tan color. It's so freaking cute. And then she got a bunch of onesies. Just white onesies. And they're zero to three months. 
And then this is so freaking cute when I saw this. It looks like they're, it's a pacifier, a bottle, and a onesie. And it's like gold and like tan and gray and white. And it's like a little onesie. And then it's got these pants. They're like grayish pants. And then back here is another onesie that says yummy and it's a bottle. So yeah, this is the baby's first outfit in shoes. And it's so crazy because these little shoes literally go with the outfit that she bought, the baby, and the bear. Like it all goes together. It's just so crazy. So maybe that'll be the baby's first outfit when he or she is born. Um, and yeah, so I hope that you guys enjoyed this pregnancy update. I'm sorry it was like kind of scattered all over the place. I'm going to start, I ordered a journal on Amazon and it's just like a plain journal and I'm just going to write everything down. So my next update that I think is going to be, maybe I'll do a 12 to 14 week update. Um, I will have everything like ran out and I'll do it week by week, but I honestly really haven't been having any of these like crazy symptoms other than being tired and kind of sick here and there. And I've also been planning my gender reveal and we go to the doctor on September 20th is when we find out the gender. It's a Friday which works out perfect because I don't think I could wait like a whole week. We're probably going to have the gender reveal party the next day and my mom is going to be the one to know what the gender is. We're going to do, um, I don't care about telling you guys, I do just like your basic, like it's going to be like desserts. There's not going to be like any food. Um, we're going to do the confetti poppers. We're going to do like the smoke bomb and the confetti poppers. So... My mom will know what the gender is. She's going to take it to Party City and then she's going to buy the confetti poppers and the smoke bombs of whatever gender the baby is. And then my sister and I are just going to make like, um, we're just going to make cute like little desserts. I have like a whole entire Pinterest board of what I want to do for the gender reveal like just the desserts, like the cookies and the blue and the pink, just like your basic stuff. Yeah, and then I guess I could show you guys like kind of what my belly looks like. I'm wearing a dress right now. So you really can't see. So yeah, um, that is all for my update. It was all kind of scattered. I hope you guys, I didn't bore you on this video, but I'm going to start editing it now and I'll put it up for you guys. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye.